You know it's going to be a bad day when your power supply decides to stop working for the third time. Opening it up reveals a mess of wires which is already a bad sign. Something's just waiting to go wrong. It's the regulator IC that's most likely blown up. A safe and reliable test is adding a drop of water to an IC in the midst of wires that could potentially be carrying mains voltage. For a while it looks like nothing's happening but the water slowly disappears which indicates that the IC is getting hotter than it should. It's going to be a nightmare to get this board out of its post-it note and electrical tape coffin. Luckily, the nightmare is mine to enjoy. Desoldering the power input and output connection should be an easier task. Once those are out of the way, the potentiometer knobs can be removed and the whole assembly pulled out of the case with relatively little difficulty. I plan to replace the existing converter with something I bought off Amazon. The only difference being this unit is black. A few minor modifications, removing the existing potentiometer. This can be done by heating all three leads simultaneously and either wiggling or prying the case off. or in this case, tapping the board not too gently. I solder the wires to my 10 ton precision potentiometer and it's ready for testing. Since this is a buck boost converter, it should be able to handle voltages above and below the nominal input of 12 volts, which fortunately it does. Putting the board in is a bigger pain than getting it out. First power up, no magic smoke, that's a good sign. Of course, no power supply test is complete without releasing the magic smoke from a 100 ohm resistor since apparently we can afford to sacrifice those. And it's finally done. The constant current pot is missing of course, but I think that will have to wait for a few more weeks. Stay tuned.